This conference will now be recorded. OK, uh, so we'll be starting our next topic that is customizing demand management. OK, so the topics that we are going to cover. They are, we will see planning strategy customization, how the planning strategy customization is done. OK, then strategy group customization. OK, and then we will be covering how the requirement class is customized. Okay, so basically we will see the planning strategy customization in this topic today. Okay. So uh, normally if you recollect our, our demand man management classes sessions, we used planning strategies. Okay, we used uh, we covered make to stock, we covered make to order. So in those in those demand management, we used planning strategy. Okay. So every planning strategy is a combination of normally planned independent requirement type and customer requirement type. This also we covered. Okay, so so basically it is a combination of two requirement types. So where these are configured, all those things we'll discuss. Now this requirement type is clubbed, is assigned with a requirement class. Okay, so so the how the configuration is built up is let me put it in a notepad file first we have the material master okay material master is assigned with planning strategy group i'll show you everything strategy group okay so this planning strategy group will contain one main okay we put a just planning strategy contains planning strategies okay so this planning strategy group normally will contain one main strategy strategy plus seven alternate strategy alternate strategy okay so planning strategy group is assigned with planning strategies now this planning strategy will have okay a requirement type a requirement type okay now this requirement type will have a requirement class requirement class okay so this is how total uh, design is built in the system okay so i'll go to the system and i will show you this first and then we will see how these are configured okay so if you go to the system suppose this is the system i logged in okay let me go to the system okay so if you go to a material let's say i'll go to one material i'll take a finished product okay suppose if i take this finished product Okay, so first first is the metal master. Metal master is assigned with a planning strategy group. Okay, so if you go to metal master, MM02, this is a material, enter. If you go to MRP3 view, if you go to MRP3 view, if you continue, plant is 1000. So here the planning strategy group. This is basically group, planning strategy group. Okay. Here it is assigned as 10. Okay, in our example, okay, let me put it like this. So here the planning strategy group assigned is 10 group. Okay. Now this planning strategy group will contain the planning strategies. Of course, one main strategy, seven alternate strategies. So let me show you this. Now we need to go to configuration. So let me open one more session. Okay, go to SPR, SAP reference IMG. Okay, go to go to production. Okay, then go to production planning. Here, yeah, demand management. Open this. Okay. Then go to planned independent requirements. Open this here. Planning strategy. Open this here. Define strategy group. 
okay so our planning strategy group is 10 so let me go to the planning strategy group 10 define strategy group okay our strategy group is 10 so if you open 10 select the 10 if you go to details you see one main strategy the main strategy assigned is 10 main strategy assigned here is 10 and there are no seven alternate strategies so they are blank okay so if you want any alternate strategies that can be assigned over here okay so now our main strategy is 10 so this our planning strategy is 10 now this planning strategy will have the requirement types as i shown here planning strategy normally will have two requirement types planned independent requirement type and sales order requirement type, customer requirement type. okay so let me show you that so in our case planning strategy is 10 go back go back now define strategy so if you go here 